Hey guys, RayGD179 here, and today I'll be doing redstone tutorial on my piston elevator. Now wait just a second before you guys go alive. Whoa, 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 Ray, you done this already? Um, well I have, but this one's a different design. Um, judging by the looks of it, I'm not sure what to call the design. I just know that it's really, really fast. And yeah, um, you've probably seen this design before, and you know that if you have, it's considerably faster than the tornado design. But remember when I said that if you put the repeaters on one stick, it makes you go up really fast, but like it gets ahead of the player once? Well, I'd like to correct that right now. That's actually not the case as of 1.7.9. Um, what what's actually happening was my when I got up that far, since so much redstone had been activated and my player was moving up really fast, what would happen was the, my uh, Minecraft would start to get delayed. And basically, because the machine moves you up really fast, it's very difficult for Minecraft to process and render everything for you um, because it's good at rendering chunks horizontally, not vertically. But basically, Minecraft is having trouble keeping up, and if your computer is not fantastic um, at keeping at helping Minecraft out with all that rendering, um, you're probably gonna get glitched due to pistons and stuff like that. And that is very much the case for this. Like, you have to have a pretty okay computer. I've, I'm not gonna say you have to have an amazing one, but you have to have a pretty decent computer to allow this to work. Because I'm sure a bunch of you have seen this, a bunch of you have built it and failed, and because, like, even though you followed the tutorial properly, it just doesn't work, that's probably why. But anyway, aside from all of that, let's get on to the showcasing of this. So, I have two nether brick fences here just to align you in the middle. Uh, most of you know that you have to be in the middle when these things start out. Uh, these are optional. It's pretty easy to line yourself up with this particular design. Uh, but as long as you have the right hardware, it's pretty, pretty trustworthy, I guess. So let's go ahead and hit the button. And as you can see, it takes us up at an amazing speed. And I'm pretty sure, if I have done these calculations right, that g takes you up at about 10 blocks per second. And that's pretty fast. That's like faster than fly. So, yeah, I've also added in a down button at the top, so we push this, and we stand on here, and it takes us down nice and safely, and we won't take any fall damage. So, it's a pretty cool design. Uh, it has some fence aligners if you need it. Now, let's take a look at the redstone behind it. Bam. Yep, that's it. It's not that complicated at all. It just has to do with a bunch of torch towers, and it's actually has come pretty pretty compact. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, I wouldn't say it's, like, tiny. I wouldn't say it's huge either. It's definitely not big. Uh, but yeah, so let's get on to building this thing. So the area you're going to need to build this is going to be an 8 by 5 um, and then the height factor, there isn't really one because you can build this as high as you want. Um, I mean, like, until the building limit, of course. Um, and because of that, I won't be able to give you guys exact numbers, so sorry about that, but it's as high as you want to build it. So the higher you build it, the more tedious it'll be and the more resources it'll take. Uh, so we will be using redstone torches, redstone repeaters, the obvious three, uh, some building blocks, uh, sticky pistons, normal pistons, uh, button, slabs of any kind, glass, an immovable block, I recommend obsidian as usual, and our input today is going to be red wool, the blue wool is going to be the torch towers on the sides, the yellow wool is going to be the upward extension for when the pistons come out, they have to extend up at the same time, and the lime wool is going to be for coming down, so, <coughs> excuse me. So that's everything you're going to need. I can't really give you the exact numbers because it's as high as you want to go. So yeah, let's get started with this. So come over here in your building area to the far bottom right corner. This block right here, we want to build two blocks up like that and have a sticky piston facing upward with one block below it, one, one space below it. Uh, then have a block there and then build this little 2x2 two two platform. This is going to be like your entrance area, so let's build like some walls around it like this so this is going to be your entrance area um, and now basically whenever we push the button uh, this piston right here it pushes up on the floor to get you started and then the elevator takes you up in a way as you can see so that one extends and then the rest goes up on its own so what we're going to need is whenever we push the button we're going to have to have to activate that piston so place your button here then I'm going to grab our red wool. So below the button, like this, we have a redstone dot. And then down, uh, coming out of that redstone dot, we have a repeater, one tick. 
going into a block which should be next to that piston. So now whenever you push the button, it extends and retracts. So that's what we need. All right, now we want to go ahead and start getting into the piston placement on the back wall. So just build out two from your floor like this, then do a sticky piston facing towards you on the left side, and then basically you want to go uh, block sticky, block sticky, block sticky, block sticky, as high as you want to go. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it like as even over here as I can. Uh, right about there. That should be good. Alright, so you want to go all the way up as high as you want. Then, of course, on the face of all the sticky pistons, you want to put a normal piston facing upwards. So, just do that on all of them. And then, obviously, you want to alternate with the other sticky pistons going down like this. So, it's like alternating. Whoa, fell. Alright, and then we're also going to put the normal piston facing upwards on the, each of the sticky pistons' face. <laughs> oh, that sounds funny. Put a normal piston on their face like that and then now from here you can basically just fill in the blocks in between like so all right now now oops i missed one hold on all right now we're going to want to remove these blocks here from the back because that'll interfere with the wiring when we're done so there we go that's that so the piston should be laid out now and what we're going to want to do is build like diagonal from the pistons, build all the way up with iron blocks like this, and then go to the other side and do the same thing. And then once you're up here, you're going to want to place two sticky pistons facing towards you and two iron blocks on them like that. And these are basically going to push you off at the top floor. So build this little ring out like this. Take your slabs and put them like that. So when you get up here, it'll push you out and up onto the slabs. Uh, so you don't have to worry about walking out yourself. So it's basically another thing to keep this thing lazy. So then build two blocks up on top of here. And then you can build it like like a little... I don't know, I just like making it a roof. Then your down button's going to go there. And then on top of where the down button is, we're going to need our removable block and put them on top like that because what happens is this piston will extend at the top but we don't want it to like push up all these blocks so we have immovable blocks here so that doesn't happen all right so let's get back down and one last thing that we need to build in is the glass on the front so just build up iron blocks like this again right there and then in between those two we're going to want to place glass blocks like this. Uh, this is just to keep you from getting pushed out of the front of the machine because we want to go up, not down. So just have the glass to contain the player while they're going up. So like that. So now let's implement the wiring for the piston elevator itself. Uh, let's grab our blue for the torch towers. All right, so on the left side, I mean right side uh, from the back, uh, we want to build down like this next to these two pistons. And then on each of these, we would just want to build all the way up to the top. Right, like that. And then build all the way up to the top. And then going from the bottom, starting on the left, we want to do like a zigzag pattern of punching out the blocks uh, in a zigzag pattern all the way up to the top. This is just laying the base for the torch towers. So like that. Then do the same thing on the other side. Uh, make sure they're even with each other, like this, and then go wee all the way to the top, and do the same thing on the other side, all the way to the top. So as you can see, guys, there's a lot of going up and down with this uh, design. It's just tedious to build. Then punch out all of these diagonally. It's really simple. All right, that's it. Now we want to go and put torches on both sides. So start with this side. You're gonna go like this. All the pistons should extend when you place the torch there, and then of course those top two should extend. Then going all the way back down, we place torches here individually, and they should all retract. Uh, not there. Then we want to do the same thing over here. So torch, 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 torch. Then go back down to the bottom, and torch, 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 torch. Torch, torch, whoops. Torch, torch. Alright, uh, actually I don't think, yeah, we don't need one there. 
um, then, hold on, don't, I also think we don't, no, we need this, okay, um, alright, so that should be it, um, so basically put torches on all of them except for these top two back ones, um, and that should basically be both of them done, uh, the, the extending part, um, so if we put a button here and push it, we would see that they each extend and retract on their own, and same thing for the other side. Now we just need to link them so that they start at the same start and stop at the same time. So it's really easy. Go to the bottom in between these two. You gotta place red wool, and then a repeater and one tick going out of that one. The redstone in front of it. And that's it. And then basically we want to link it up over here. So build like a little L shape kind of thing going on there. Block up right there. Redstone dot. Repeater. Redstone like that. This repeater's on four ticks. So now whenever we push the button. They should both extend alternating. Now, we don't want them to just come out of the wall. We also want them to push upwards as they come out of the wall to lift us up. So, we're going to go over to our yellow wool for that. And on this side, uh, we're going to place a block there, redstone on top. And basically, whenever you see an iron block, you want to place a yellow wool on it, just like that. Um, except for the top. Yeah, except for the top. And then just place redstone on all of these. Like so, and go over to the other side. Do the same thing. Whenever you see an iron block, you want to place a redstone. I mean, uh, yellow wool, uh, except for the top once again. And redstone, 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 redstone. All right. And now, when we push the button, they should be extending as they go up as well. And basically, now, if all you want was a up elevator and you don't really care about the down part, this is it. You're done. Uh, really compact elevator, it actually makes the area 5x5 five five instead of 8x5 if you're only doing the up part. But if you're doing the down part, just stay tuned, we're going to build that in now. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm sure most of you stayed watching because what's a good elevator that doesn't go down? Like, elevators go down. <laughs> so behind your down button that you placed up here, you want to place a green wool block on top of these two pistons. Redstone on top of that down one block, then a repeater on four ticks, then that goes over into a block. And here's where it gets a little bit complicated. Well, I'm going to try and simplify it as best I can. So let's go down to the bottom, find the first piston that's on the left, build like a little two by two area like this, and then repeater on three ticks, repeater on one tick, and redstone in the back. So just like that. Then go up to the next one and build your two by two area. Uh, repeater on three ticks, repeater on one tick, redstone in the back. Simple like that. Uh, repeater on three ticks, repeater on one tick, redstone in the back. Just keep going all the way up to the top of the machine. Uh, you should know the deal by now. Three ticks, one tick, redstone in the back. Um, almost to the top here. Two by two area, three ticks, one tick, redstone in the back. And the very last one is a bit different. It's a uh, two by two area except, uh, whoops. Except this back left one is upwards a little bit, but it's still the same thing. Three ticks, one tick, redstone in the back, just like that. All right, now we want to build the circuit that spirals all the way down. So what we want to do is we want to come a block out right here, redstone on that. Block over this way, redstone on that as well. Then we want to grab our slabs. So then slab underneath like this, redstone on top of that. Then over by three blocks, block up in the middle. Four tick repeater going into that block, redstone dot on the other side. Then a slab coming down from that, redstone there. And we basically just repeat this process all the way down the bottom. So I'll do it a couple times so you get the gist. So three blocks over like that, redstone on those. Then a slab coming down like this. Then three blocks over here, block up in the middle. Four tick repeater like that, redstone dot at the other end. Then slab like this. Redstone down, repeat the process again. Three blocks over, redstone on top. Slab down like this, redstone on top. Three blocks over, block up in the middle. Four tick repeater, dot of redstone on the other side. Slab down like this, and you get it from here. Alright, I'm going to speed up till we get to the end. Alright guys, we are coming to the finish here. Uh, four 
six beer dot on the other side. Slab down like this, and on the very last one, we just need one block, not three. And that'll connect up to there, and basically, I think that's it. So, let's try this thing out, and of course you can extend this and decorate the front however you like. You can also put the nether brick fences or fences or something to help you get in the middle if, you, if it's not quite working out for you. You just get in the middle, push the button, and up we go. We're at the top, you push the down button. It takes us down nice and safe without fall damage, and we should be good. Now remember, if you don't, act, if, if you're playing on a laggy server with high ping or if your computer is being a bit dodgy, this might not work for you, but the tornado design will. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Also, if you really enjoy the channel, why not subscribe? But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.